pay attention here. Listen to this. To the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things says he who has the sharp two-edged sword. I know your works, and where you dwell, where Satan's throne is. And you hold fast to my name, and did not deny my faith, even in the days in which Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was killed among you, where Satan dwells. But I have a few things against you, because you have there those who hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Thus you also have those who have the doctrine of, Nic of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma, and this is what I call my morning musings. We're currently involved in a study of the dating of the book of Revelation, and you know, a lot of people say, well, the condition of the seven churches in Asia indicates a late date. I would suggest to you that it demands, at those conditions demand an early date. First of all, I want you to notice the problem here at Pergamos is a Jewish persecution issue. The Lord says they dwell where Satan's throne is or where Satan dwells. Well, notice in the previous letter to Smyrna, they were being persecuted by those who say they are Jews but are not. They are the synagogue of Satan. They say they're Jews but they're not. To the letter to the church at Philadelphia. You're engaged in, against those who say they are Jews, but are not. They are liars. They're the synagogue of Satan. Now, if, if the synagogue of Satan was Jewish persecution, and if the synagogue uh, in, uh, in the church at Smyrna, and if the synagogue of Satan, where Satan dwells, in the church at Philadelphia was Jewish persecution, then we have every right to believe that where Satan dwells at Pergamos was likewise Jewish persecution. Now, there's something else here. I want you to notice that the issue at Pergamos was the doctrine of eating of meats sacrificed to idols. Now by the time 95 AD, the proposed late date for the book of Revelation, had rolled around, the issue of eating meat sacrifice, sacrifice to idols had become a minor issue in the early church. The issue of eating meat sacrifice to idols was an issue of controversy early in the church when brand new Jewish converts coming out of paganism, coming out of idolatry, now learning that the idol was nothing, were now eating meat sacrificed to idols. The Jews who had been th taught through Torah that the eating of anything associated with idols was an abomination, were in conflict and controversy. So Paul had to write in the 50s to the church at Rome and address the controversy of eating meat sacrificed to, to idols as early as the Jerusalem controversy, which is probably, or which is, very early in the church's existence, address the controversy. When Paul wrote the letter to, to Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 8, 1 Corinthians 10, he addressed the controversy of eating meat sacrificed to idols. Why? Because it was a Jew versus Gentile controversy. But you see, with the destruction of Jerusalem in AD 70, with the division between Jew, Judaism and the church now very clear, the issue of Torah 
Torah observance became almost a moot issue. And yet, in the book of Revelation, that controversy between Jew and church is still extremely powerful. And in the church at Pergamos, the controversy in the church is meat sacrificed to idols. I say again, by the 90s, the controversy of eating meat sacrificed to idols was not nearly the controversy in the 90s as it was early in the 50s or late 40s even in the church. As a matter of fact, the later on, the later epistles hardly mentioned the issue at all. Why? Well, because the issue had become and was becoming settled as a result of Paul's epistles. But at the church at Pergamos, it was still one of the key issues. That indicates the early dating of Revelation. Hey, thanks so much for joining me for this morning's Morning Musings. Don't forget, I've got all of this and more in my book, Who Is This Babylon? You can get this at www.eschatology.org, www.bibleprophecy.com. Mention that you saw the offer on YouTube or Facebook, and I'll refund your shipping. Thanks again for joining me. Hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the flip side.